here with Ben Pelicani from the Mind Bitter Academy in Lake Mary, Florida. How are you, Ben? Good, John. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. So, I want to hear more about the philosophy that you have when you're helping your players and top juniors around the world, when you're helping them implement consistent alignment. What are some drills that you use to help them out? Yeah, I mean, I don't think anyone will argue that aiming the club well is something that's important. I mean, we talk about it on the full swing all the time, right? you got to aim well. So if you, if you have ways of practicing your aim, um, I think that is really, really important, mostly with juniors, because with juniors, as they build skills at a young, younger age, they're going to build good habits. So if they can aim it well from a young age, then they're going to aim it well for a long time. Yes, yes. So when you're talking about that and, you know, and explaining aiming and alignment, that's the foundation of everything, yeah. how does a Seymour putter help you implement that into the game? Yeah, so... You know, a lot of times people think you got to spend a ton of money on training aids, right? So I think for about $6 at your local hardware store, you can buy a chalk line. Yeah. And chalk lines are great because they're always straight. Yes. And I would say this for, for people out there, if you're going to do a chalk line, do a breaking putt. So you're going to have to find the, the line of the putt first, and then you're going to have to snap a small chalk line. It doesn't have to be long. It can probably be about you know, 12 to 24 inches long. But you want a chalk line on a breaking putt because most of the putts we hit Break, Absolutely. and we want to train our eyes to see the right thing. You know, everyone does a chalk line on a straight putt, which is great, but the majority of our putts are breaking, so we want to train our eyes that way. So, you know, I, I think one of the things with with the Seymour putter that really helps a lot is, you know, one is that shaft lean always being consistent. Um, you know, you know, the Seymour putter is built for zero shaft lean, and and uh, the RST technology in there really helps with that as well because we want to hide that red dot. So if we can get a player to put that, that Seymour on a chalk line and then get them to set up to it, over time they're going to train their eyes to, to, to aim that club pretty well. That's a great point then because essentially if someone sets up to a putter that does not have rifle scope technology to help them align their eyes, you know, if, if their eyes are going ahead right of the target, that's naturally going to really impact their stroke path. Yeah, you know, we, we think eyes are kind of like driving, you know, if you think about driving a car, your eyes, you no know, one would ever look to the right because eventually your car is going to drift to the right. So if you set up to a chalk line and your putter's square, and it's pretty easy to tell when a putter is square because you've got, you know, lines on the putter to, to help with that. And if that club face is in the, the middle of your stance and that shaft has no lean, if all of a sudden you can't hide that red dot anymore, it's probably because your eyes are crooked. Yes. And so we want our eyes parallel to our, to our target line or, or where we want that ball to start um, with our putting. So if you look at you know, a Seymour putter, anytime our eyes get crooked, I see that red dot if I'm aiming the putter well. Yes. And that's where a chalk line comes in because that's going to aim the putter well for you. And then you can, you can start training your eyes to be level over the putter. That's a great point, because once you see both those white lines evenly, you know that the eyes are then square to that club face. And then I think sometimes a misconception of rifle scope technology is if somebody had, you know, comes up and they've been putting like this for a long time in the back head position, they're like, oh, when I hide the red dot, I'm having to you know, move my hands back. Well, well, that's not that the system isn't reinforcing that. It's really that the person's head position is too far back to begin with. So all rifle scope technology is doing is bringing the body back to neutral. And that's where the body is going to perform better long term. Exactly. And, you know, even players who have different motions have always tried to work closer to neutral. I mean, even Furyk in his younger, eight, or younger years had this really goofy looking golf swing. Well, if you look over time, the swing softened a little bit. So everyone tries to get back to neutral because, yeah. you know, the, the more comp the, the more you set up with compensations in your golf swing, the more you have to adjust mid-stroke. And when you're not playing well, how do you know what to go back to? You know, if your head's always tilted a little bit, how do you know if that's the right amount? Mm -hmm. So neutral or, or square in this case would be really easy to always go back to. Absolutely. And, and you know, the, obviously the, the putter in this case, with the addition of maybe a chalk line, uh, would help with that. 
And that's why you're such a great partner of ours, because at the Mind Mentor Academy, you're all about reinforcing simple systems, and you base a lot of things about what the body naturally wants to do. And that's what we do here at Seymour, and that's what Rifle Scope Technology is promoting. So what you're doing with, with Seymour is you're taking a simple system like the Mind Mentor Academy has, and then Seymour then gives them an application tool through Rifle Scope Technology to implement that system in top juniors and in top four players. So, Ben, we really appreciate your support, and... Uh, Thanks a lot for uh, being on the SPI team. Thank you. Thank you.